The following is a Elon TV presentation. Hey, buddy, did you hear the news? It's track reviews. We have so much be first to watch. And you guys are right there along with me, giving me all these suggestions, all the live performances, and I've been loving them all. But we still got a few music videos to go through, and then we'll start hitting the live stuff. And then somewhere along the way, they got a new song called Mainstream, and it's coming out next week or this upcoming weekend. I will be there day one. When it drops on YouTube, I'm there. Expect me to be there. Thank you so much for a thousand likes in less than five hours. You guys are insane. I guess I'm one of you now. You guys have really like welcomed me into the community. I, I really, I really like that. Thank you so much. Please keep liking these videos and subbing to the channel. Let's keep talking in the comments too. I love speaking to you guys in English or Japanese. I, I think it's great. Today we have Bye Goodbye. Um, I'm not sure what style they're gonna be doing if this is more R&B or hip-hop or even J-pop I know you guys said they're pretty versatile with their voices and genres which is really interesting so we'll see what we get today with bye goodbye thanks so much for watching and here is me first bye goodbye this one's a little bit more Oh my god <laughs> i wanted more that was so good though this one was a little bit more tamer compared to some of their other songs hey see you guys later bye um but it's still pretty good so i think i got to understand them even more compared to uh what boom boom back 
where I kind of had a video over here and I was able to see their names and their voices and their faces and, and kind of identify who is who and their quirks and everything. Um, okay, so Junon's vocals is definitely one of my favorites. Holy crap. <laughs> and Monato too. They all sound good. But it's so hard to pinpoint like which one resonates with me the most. And I think it's it's Juno. So yeah, this one was more J-pop. Um It's got more of like a top 40 hits feel to it. Um a lot less rapping, still has some hip hop uh elements to it. Like I said, they're pretty they're pretty flexible with their voices and their genres. That I feel like to, in today's music industry, that's really important. Uh, instead of just doing one thing, because people nowadays they just get tired of hearing the same thing over and over again. There's the next trend, and people jump onto another one. I feel like B first can be there in every trend in every genre. Um, maybe not every single genre, but the ones that they they can really um, you know hone in on. One thing about the music videos, they don't wear the same thing, they don't do the same dances, everything's a different vibe, and everything's a different feel. Uh, if I say, it's what kind of reminds me of like some K-pop stuff as well. I don't, I haven't really watched K-pop like that at all, which we will react to. But, I don't know, it's got like a certain vibe to it. Yo, they're all wearing pink and stuff, I didn't even, I didn't even try that. That was, in, that was unintentional. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm becoming one of them. Guys, I'm the eighth member. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just playing. Uh, the background harmonization vocals are really cool. It it really blends in with the song and the, and the chorus vocals a lot. Like, really. It, everything is, like, mixed well together. Like, you don't, you don't have to set other things apart, so you have to pick them out and then ignore something else and listen to that later. You can all listen to it all at once and really appreciate it. So shout out to the mixing and producing for that. And, and the B-First Boys for being able to capitalize on that as well. Uh, another interesting thing about the production and the music is that they don't, they don't give you that drop right away near the chorus. That's new. Um, I mean, it's not new, but it's different. It's not, that doesn't always happen. I think that's really, uh... It's really special that they did that. I think B-First is inherently trying to be different, but at the same time, trying to st still be in on that trend so people can still relate to them a little bit. So they're kind of pushing the genre for J-pop um, a little bit, and they're kind of adding some more R&B and hip-hop aspects to it. I think that's really awesome. And once again, the boys just got swagger. They just got the clothes, the dance, the look. They just look good. I mean, come on. I can't lie. I mean, that's also an element, too. You gotta look good while you do it. You gotta put that into consideration. But, man, I can't wait until Mainstream comes out. Uh, I think that's this weekend or next week. Nope, next Monday. They said the 11th. We'll be there Um, maybe that day or the day after. I cannot wait. That's gonna be my first real-time B-first reaction with you. Yo, that's going to be a lot of fun. That's going to be so cool. What do you guys think about Bye Goodbye? What's the next song we should watch? Let's knock these music videos out so we can get to the live performances, get to mainstream, and then maybe some other stuff too. Maybe some other J-pop groups other than B-First. What are your other favorites? Let's watch them. Tell me down in the comments. Let's talk in Japanese. Speak in uh, Japanese or English. I'll, I'll talk with you guys about anything. Remember to like this video. And please subscribe to the channel. And hey, come back tomorrow for some more B first. And as always, D-Line, out. Fire!